and tell these folks a little bit about the rumble. I know you spent a lot of time on this machine. Yeah, I think you. Uh, well, for the, the show here, the latest here with Don Ames, uh, we're in the uh, phone about 28 years ago. Anyway, the uh, rumble made a lot of different types of steam engines. This particular one is uh, uh, what they call the Western Falling engine. Heavy built, heavy gearing, double cylinder. Originally ran at 175 pounds of pressure. Right now we're limited down to 132. So we can't put out the original horsepower. Well, we can put out the original horsepower, but we can't put on the, an original display as far as how much power it could produce. But what we can do is it still will produce 120 horsepower, even though it's only got 132 pounds of pressure. Compared to the original 175. So it gives you an indication of what it would put out when it was brand new. Now, a few years ago, uh, there was another fellow here that, that did uh, a bunch of ground tests. We actually did uh, pulling tests with it. So we were able to produce 94 draw bar horsepower at that time. And a steam engine is, is actually designed to pull it to see the horse. Two miles an hour to the horse. And at two miles an hour, this particular engine will put on a, a line full of 25,000 pounds. In other words, if you hook the cable from the engine to a pulley, up to a pulley, and over and down, and put a 25,000 pound weight on the ground, it would pick it up off the ground. That's how much it would pull when I say a 25,000 line pull. In other words, if you had a 50,000 pound weight and a coefficient of friction on the ground of 50% or 0.5, it would move that weight. Okay. And so it developed 94 horsepower at 2 miles an hour, which is equivalent to a cat. And the way that we did that is we actually had two cats hooked up to it. And one had the brake, and the brake locked on solid that was hitting the track. And then the other second guy was running the brake. And we had a big hydraulic cylinder and a pressure gauge on it on a, a long, small hydraulic line. So the, the uh, fellow that was taking the pressure could actually ride on the cat and read the pressure. We're going along. That's how we actually tested the draw bar horsepower of this engine, even though it's, it's only rated at a 32 horse engine. Okay, if you look in the old book, or not 32, pardon me, 36 horse. And, but really, that 36 horse had meant it replaced 36 horses. It didn't actually remit, uh, mean that it would only put out 36 draw bar horsepower, but it would replace 36 horses. And anybody that's had anything to do with horses know that you could, if you hooked onto 36 horses together and hooked onto something, you could move half the world with it for a short time. And that's kind of where the steam engine is, or any steam engine. If they can't produce maximum horsepower continuously, but for a short spurt they can. But this engine is rated 120 engine horse, and it can produce that continuously. But it could probably produce, in its payday, probably 175 or more for short spurt. One of the things about a crony brake, which is what this machine is called, is that it's kind of foolproof. Because what it does is taking the torque that's on this shaft and, and putting the torque against the scale. And then we can read the actual down pressure on the scale. And torque times, when, when you get the torque times the RPM, that's how you measure horsepower. On a rotating shaft, torque times RPM divided by 5252 is, gives you horsepower. Now the way this machine is built, it just happens from the center of this shaft to the center of this bolt that's pushing down on the scale is exactly 5.25 feet. So when we take our torque times our RPM, which shows up here like this, and divide that by 5252. All we have to do is move it over at three decimal places because that's 5.25 feet. Okay, that's what makes us look really good. That's what I do with our machine. The force in pounds times the speed in feet divided by 33,000. In other words, foot pounds per minute, or, or if it's divided by uh, uh, 550, uh, an actual horsepower is 550 foot pounds per second, or 33,000 foot pounds per minute. That's, that's how what a horsepower is. That, was, that, that standard was set by James Watt in probably 1850 in England. 
by doing tests determined that the average horse would put out 550 foot pounds per second or 33,000 per minute over the course of an average day. Now, people, the horse people say you're crazy, horses do a lot more than that, but you got to remember you also have to feed a horse and water a horse and rest a horse. And so when you take an average 10 or 12 hour day, that's where the 550 or 33,000 per minute comes in. Because you're taking into all the time during the whole day that the horse works, and not just the time that when it was working. Whereas the steam engine doesn't get tired. You don't have to stop to feed it or water it. You do all that on the go. Even though this machine is 90 years old, it's a semi-modern invention. What's the belt made out of? Well, it's made out of paper. It's a rubberized, sort of a rubberized yeah. Anyway, the other thing that I can tell you about this thing is, is that that two-cylinder engine up there is the equivalent of a V8 for a gasoline engine. And you say, okay, now how in the world is that possible? But the steam engine has got two ends to the piston, like a hydraulic cylinder. The team pushes the piston this way, and then it pushes the back again. And it does that on both sides, right? So, for every RPM, you get four power strokes. On a V8, you get eight power strokes every two RPM. So now, this gets eight power strokes every two RPM. That's why I say it's equivalent to a V8. You understand? Now, not only that, this thing develops 120 horsepower at 250 RPM. You know how many foot pounds of torque you got to have to create that much horsepower at that RPM? Well, the first, if you, for everybody who's got it a sheet, you can see what I, what I was saying. The horsepower is torque times RPM divided by 52 and 52. So, the lower the RPM, the higher the torque has to be. And you'll hear engine manufacturers nowadays, oh, we put a 500 uh, foot-pound torque. Could be a diesel pickup for 300 horsepower. 500 foot-pound torque. What do you think this thing puts up for torque? At 250 RPM. Thousands. We're talking 3,000 foot-pound torque. Quite a difference. <laughs> That's why it's still running 90 years later, because it only turns 250 RPM, right? It hasn't worn out yet. I don't know when we're going to wear it out, but I don't think I'll live long enough. Now, steam engine doesn't matter. You can run it either way. There's no transmission in the steam engine. The valve gearing is set up so you can put the speaker one way and the engine will turn one direction. When you want to go the other direction, you just run the engine backwards like a ginger on the railroad. Right? But uh, sometimes you'll set your valving so that you will pull better one way versus the other way. I explain that a little bit. Yeah, well, you can do that. If you're, if you're going to use this engine more for plowing than you are for thrashing, well, then you'll favor the plowing motion. So it'll give you a little more horsepower in the flying motion and a little less on the traction motion. Okay, we're done now? I hope so.